Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump is being accused of inciting violence against his rival Hillary Clinton following remarks he made Tuesday during a rally in North Carolina. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick... If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But Trump's remarks were met with outrage. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut tweeted, quote, don't treat this as a political misstep. It's an assassination threat seriously upping the possibility of a national tragedy and crisis. And former Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, who survived an assassination attempt in 2011, wrote that Trump's rhetoric, quote, may provide inspiration or permission for those bent on bloodshed. Chemi Shalev, <clears throat> the U.S. editor of Israeli Haaretz, tweeted, quote, people who remember the incitement that led to Rabin's assassination will find Trump's rhetoric hauntingly familiar. Shalev was referencing the 1995 assassination of the Israeli prime minister Yitzhak Rabin by a right-wing Jewish extremist. The New York Daily News called for Trump to end his campaign. The paper's cover shows a photo of Trump next to the words, this isn't a joke anymore. When Trump hinted gun rights supporters shoot Hillary, he went from offensive to reckless. He must end his campaign. If he doesn't, the GOP needs to abandon him, the paper wrote. Speaking on CNN, former CIA chief general Michael Hayden condemned Trump's remarks. Well, let me, let me say, if someone else had said that outside the hall, he'd be in the back of a police wagon now with the Secret Service questioning him. A Trump spokesperson said Trump was not inciting violence. Jason Miller said, quote, it's called the power of unification. Second Amendment people have amazing spirit and are tremendously unified, which gives them great political power. And this year, they will be voting in record numbers, and it won't be for Hillary Clinton. It will be for Donald Trump. Trump's remarks come one month after one of his advisers, a New Hampshire state representative, Al Baldassaro, called for Hillary Clinton to be executed. Baldassaro made the comments during a radio interview in July. This whole thing disgusts me. Hillary Clinton should be put in the firing line and shot for treason.